both domestically and abroad. I see a lot of familiar faces around the table um, from the first meeting that was held on this subject in the White House with the President in February. Some incredible nonprofit organizations that have been doing just amazing work. Since then, we've been conducting interagency meetings to understand the scope of the issue, as well as gathering recommendations from the academic, public, and private sector. Today, we bring an additional and critical group to the table, legislative leaders, to discuss concrete steps through legislation. Next week is Combating Trafficking and Child Protection Week in Congress. And many of you have contributed to the nine bills that will be the nine pieces of legislation that will be directly addressing this issue. Combating human trafficking and modern slavery is both in our moral and strategic interests domestically and abroad. According to the International Labor Organization, there are an estimated 21 million human trafficking victims at any given moment in the world. Regrettably, the United States is both a source and destination country for individuals subjected to human trafficking. In 2016, there were over 8,000 cases reported to the National Human Trafficking Hotline, a 35% increase from 2015. These figures are sadly moving in the wrong direction, and it is our responsibility to put an end to human trafficking once and for all. Thanks to Congress and government agencies, we have a robust bipartisan framework which will encourage cooperation and information gathering to ensure that our policies are successful.